Hey guys. Um, I just want to tell you guys something that happened to me about 10 years ago. Um, if you don't like ghost stories, then I suggest you don't watch this video. It's basically a ghost story. Um, but what makes it different is it's none of these uh, bullshit crap stories. This is actually a real ghost story. Um, a real true story that happened to me. So, let me uh, tell you what happened. Uh, it all started when we were on holiday in India. Me, my mum, my sisters. We went to see some of my mum's family. Um, on my mum's side, obviously. And um, we were staying at my auntie's house. And uh, at some point, we had to go to another one of my auntie's houses. She had another house um, in another part of India that she suggested that we go. So we did. We all went. Um, it was in the north of India. We were staying in the south of India in my auntie's house. And we had to go to the north, to her other house. So we left uh, one morning in the car and we drove there with my auntie and my uncle. And uh, we drove down the country roads, it took a long time to get there, it took about six hours. But um, at some point we stopped to have a break and um, we just stopped at the side of the road. And I got to have a leak, everyone got to have something to eat and, you know, just stretch your legs and stuff. And um, there was this uh, tree that I thought looked quite weird, it was uh, kind, of st kind of stood out from the rest of the trees that were there. So. I decided to go and have a little look, and I uh, was just curious, so I went over to have a look at it, and um, I've never seen a tree like this before, I've never actually seen a tree of that kind, it was called a tambourine, a tambourine tree, um, which is, tambourine's a fruit that's produced by the tree, and they use that in India for curries and stuff, and um, you know, I just had this weird kind of sense from the tree, it was just a weird kind of feeling I was getting from the tree, it just seemed like it stood out from all the other trees and anyway we jumped back in the car and I kind of took this feeling with me you know just thinking about that tree I, don't, I didn't know what it was to this day I still don't know what it was but in India there are superstitions that um, ghosts hide in trees and that's why my mum always tells me to come home early not to walk through the park late at night where there's trees and stuff but anyway we got to the second house and, um, you know, we got out, had something to eat, watched TV, um, you know, sat around, talked for a bit, and then it was time to go to bed. So I went to bed and my sister went to bed, but it wasn't in a bedroom. It was in, there wasn't enough bedrooms and there wasn't enough beds for everyone. So me and my sister slept in the living room. I slept on a sofa <coughs> facing my sister and she slept on a sofa facing me. And um, we fell asleep and my mum was in another room, which was basically, there's a door where my feet were, just a few feet in front of my feet. Um, there's a door and that's where my mum was, she was in that room. So basically, <coughs> I fell asleep and um, I woke up at whatever time it was, I don't know what time it was, but I woke up and I had this strange feeling again. You know, the same feeling that I had when I was with, around that tree. And um, I was lying on my stomach and I looked towards my sister and she was lying there and something caught the corner of my eye, um, which was just above her head um, at the stairwell. So I, I, you know, I panned across and I looked at the stairwell, which was about five foot away from me and which was about a foot away from my sister. And um, I was looking at the floor and um, Right there at the stairwell, I could see a dress. I could see the bottom of, um, you know, of a dress, and it was a really baggy dress, and it was totally covering the feet. And I was a bit shocked. I was like, "Who the hell is that standing there?" So I kind of looked up towards the body, you know, got to the torso, and uh, they were holding a baby. And the baby was dressed in white. The dress was white that the person was wearing, and uh, I couldn't figure out what the hell it was or who it was. And I still thought at that time that it was a person. And I carried on looking up, then I got to the head, and they had a hood on. And the thing that really freaked me out was that there was no face. The hood was there, obviously, 
but it was like a dark hole, it was like a pitch black hole where the face should be. And as soon as I saw that, I absolutely shit myself. I jumped up and I ran into the room where my mum was. And I told my mum, I was saying, Mum, you know, I was panicking. I, I woke her up, I was like, Mum, there's something out there. She told me just to chill out. She was like, you're seeing things, you're dreaming or whatever. And I was like, I'm not dreaming. And I ran back to the door um, and to look into the room and whatever it was, was gone. And uh, my sister was still lying there. So, I, you know, I ran up to my sister and I, I tried to wake her up and she wouldn't wake up. So I kind of dragged her into my mum's room and we slept in there for the night. And, um, you know, I couldn't sleep for, for days after that. That was like the most intense um, spiritual experience I've had. And it wasn't a very pleasant one. You know, I was quite scared because, like I say, I couldn't sleep for three nights, three days. I was thinking about this thing non-stop. So that was my ghost story. You know, people are trying to tell me that what I saw was in my head or whatever. It might have been, who knows, but, you know, it was right in front of me, five feet away from me, in front of my face. So I saw what I saw, I know what I saw. And um, I got a picture here for something similar to what I saw. The only difference is in this picture, there's no baby. And uh, the ghost that I saw was holding a baby in its arms. It was cradling it in both its arms. So make of that what you will. And um, if you've got any ghost stories of your own, you're more than welcome to post them on the wall and I'll have a look. Anyway, night night.